And on Capitol Hill, Democratic lawmakers grilled Wells Fargo CEO Timothy Sloan Tuesday over the bank's practices of predatory lending, misleading and defrauding customers, and its relationship to the NRA, private prisons and the fossil fuel industry. California Congress member and Financial Services Chair Maxine Waters called Wells Fargo a recidivist financial institution. After the hearing, she told reporters she would call a vote on a bill to break up mega banks found liable for repeated consumer violations. This is New York Congress member Alexandria Casio cortez questioning Sloan over the bank's role in climate change and its financial backing of the Dakota Access Pipeline, which she noted has leaked at least five times since it started transporting oil in 2017. Should Wells Fargo be held responsible for the damages incurred by climate change due to the financing of fossil fuels and, and these projects? I don't know how you'd calculate that, Congresswoman. Um, say from spills or when we have to reinvest in infrastructure, building seawalls from the uh, erosion of um, from the erosion of infrastructure or cleanups, wildfires, et cetera. Related to that pipeline, I'm not aware that there's been any of what you described that's mm -hmm. occurred related to that. How about um, the cleanups from the leaks of the Dakota Access Pipeline? I'm, I'm not aware of the, de the leaks associated with the Dakota Access Pipeline. That's Wells Fargo CEO Timothy Sloan being questioned by New York Congress member Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez.